Hey guys, it's your girl Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally getting our November plan with me all set up. I apologize that it took me a little bit longer this month to get this video up. Uh, the truth is I've had so many life changes recently that I needed to really put a lot of thought into what I wanted for my bullet journal this month. So that's why it kind of took me a while to figure out exactly what kind of setup I wanted to do. But anyway, um, it is November and I wanted to do something, you know, to commemorate the fact that we're going to start getting snow here in Idaho where I live. And I really like the idea of like Arctic foxes and I thought that that would have been so beautiful, but I, I'm not a great artist. So to like, it would have taken a lot of sketching for me to be able to pull that off because they're white. So I wouldn't have been able to like rely on color. Um, so instead I decided to go with like different brown and red colored foxes for this month's theme. And to be honest with you, I, I think it came out really, really good. Um, you know, like I say in every single video, I'm not an artist. So I'm really, really happy with the end result and I hope that you guys will be as well. Um, so anyways, you guys can see I'm drawing a little, just a cute little simple doodly fox. And then I am, you know, doing my little loopy loop calligraphy is what I like to call it. The word November and then of course the year 2018. So first I went in with a brown Crayola super tip marker and then I went in with a black one just to kind of give it that highlighted feeling. Next, of course, I have to do my monthly overview. I absolutely must have one of these in every single bullet journal video that I do. And that's because I need to be able to see the month in full, especially since I don't do all of my weekly setups at once. I tend to kind of do them as the weeks go on as, you know, what I need and what I'm using, what I'm, I'm not using changes. So actually, if you're ever interested in seeing what my weekly setups look like you guys can head over to my instagram to check that out but anyway i'm doing all my little boxes to signify of course each day of the month i always make a mistake every single month and this time i added just one extra box on that last saturday um that actually is going to be the first but i mean i kind of fixed it but i know the mistake is there i know i'm not gonna fool you guys so i just figured i'd let you guys know so anyway i'm continuing with that little loop-de-loop -loop kind of font going on so of course I did it for the month November and then you know the days of the week so I wanted to be able to have like my set monthly overview and then have some goals for the month um, so again I used a, a brown super tip Crayola marker and I used a red and then I used a black and you're gonna see that all throughout this setup is kind of me going back in with a black to kind of just deepen it and add some contrast to it so anyway as I'm you guys can see I'm putting in all the numbers of the days of the month and so I made that last little circle red just to you know further signify that that is going to be the beginning of next month which is of course December and then for my goals I decided to split them up into personal and business uh, for those of you that might be new here I did just open up my very own jewelry and accessory shop so it's very very important to me that you know I'm goal setting and tracking appropriately um, because I feel like that's what will lead me to success so anyway, I'm moving on now. I'm going to be doing a mood tracker. I find these are very, very helpful, especially with someone like me. I, um, If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I've been dealing with some very severe postpartum depression. And I am happy to say that I've been doing really, really well in my recovery. And I am no longer on my medication. Um, but of course, now more than ever, it's more important that I am being very, very cautious and very aware of what triggers me and how my moods fluctuate now that I'm not relying on any actual medical help. So anyway, I decided to draw these cute little cuddling red foxes this is actually from a cute little doodle that i saw on pinterest and i promise that i scourged the internet for like an artist to you know give props to give credit to and i couldn't find one like it just kind of seemed like everyone was uploading like their own cropped versions of it if that makes sense but if you guys know who the artist is please let me know because i would love to give them a shout out it was so cute of course my doodle is nothing compared to theirs but you know that's exactly where i got the idea from i'm sure you guys have seen this the, you know this little sketch on Pinterest as well but anyway I just really wanted to do red foxes for this uh, mood tracker and as you guys can tell it's kind of like a frame and I know it's kind of difficult to see the little dots in this journal on this video but um, there is actually 30 lines going down and I'm going to be like 
coloring the entire line as kind of like a cool backdrop to these cuddling foxes i think it's going to look really really cool at the end i know it looks kind of plain and simple but stick with me i will show you guys the end result on instagram i i honestly think it's going to look awesome and i'm really excited for it so anyway moving on to the next sheet i wanted to do a habit tracker and just fyi i like to do my mood trackers and my habit trackers kind of like on the same you know sheets it, what have you you know i can see them both at the same time because i do feel like the more productive that i am the more elevated my mood is um so i just feel like that kind of goes hand in hand and it helps me to see how productive was i this day and how did it affect my mood so anyway i'm doing my habit tracker now so these little long boxes uh they are 10 rows down like or i'm sorry yeah it's 10 rows and three columns each so that signifies 30 days um, of course, I decided to do an 11th one so that I could give each one a title. And as I'm sure you guys can tell, I did make a oopsie little mistake there, but I will go back and fix it. And anyway, the reason why I wanted to have like very few of them, I know some people have like a whole list and I just feel like that's really overwhelming for me. For me, it's just easier for me to just kind of break things down a little bit, take it easy, take it slow. And I feel like when I, I'm not killing myself, overflowing my plate, I get more things done. So anyway, again, going back to that personal and business, you know, I wanted to make sure that I had certain personal habits and business habits that I wanted to keep up with this month. And I think I did a good job of splitting them up. Then I wanted to add a quote and I owed it. I, I'm sorry, I owed it. I added the cunning of the fox is as murderous as the violence of the wolf. And that's actually a quote by Thomas Paine, who is an author. I just thought it really played well to the cunningness of foxes which is you know what they're known for anyway moving on now i'm doing like my monthly money page and this is actually a tracker that i stopped doing a long time ago but i decided it was time to bring it back once again with me opening my own business it is now more imperative than ever that i am keeping good track of mine and my husband's income because we do have several sources of income and that we are keeping certain things personal and keeping certain things on the business side that we have budget goals and that we're tracking our income and expenses so that's exactly what this entire spread is for so budget goals that's kind of where i'm going to put like like our goals for like staying in budget when it comes to like groceries and spending and shopping and clothes things that are not fixed monthly payment amounts and then of course i've got my start and end and so sorry i had to fix my camera there it was falling over but i have my starting and ending amounts for my personal and business accounts and then i've got an income and expense sheet for my business and the longer sheet for our personal since it's both mine and me and my husband using the account so moving on i've got kind of like a spread called Facebook Live. I'm actually going to be starting a Facebook Live series on my Facebook page. It is going to be more centered around beauty and makeup since that's actually what my niche is. Um, I do art on the side. I've been doing bullet journaling on the side. And um, so I wanted to just kind of keep track of how that was doing, make sure that I'm on the right track and make sure that I'm doing things that my viewers are enjoying and responding to. And then on the right hand side, I decided to do a social stats page. Of course, you know, because I do make some of my living on social media, it's very, very important that I'm keeping good track of my following, making sure that I'm always on the up and up. And so it's very important to me that I'm tracking all of my accounts on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So I will be using this sheet to kind of track how I'm doing. Um, and the reason why I had to split it up so much is because the range of followers that I have on each social media for each account is wildly different. <laughs> so that's why I had to do it this way. But I, I think it's going to work out and I will definitely show you guys how this page looks at the end of the month on my Instagram. So moving on, it's finally time to set up my first weekly setup of the month. I am a little bit late getting my bullet journal all set up this month month so i'm just gonna go ahead and start on monday november the 5th i like to start my days on mondays anyway and i am getting over strep and a cold which happened right after i got over strep so i figured i'm just gonna finish out the weekend rest and just hit the ground running monday morning so as you can see i drew these little uh, red sleeping foxes and then of course i continued with my little loop-de-loop -loop font to signify the days of the week and i'm using the same red Crayola super tip marker and the same black Crayola super tip marker that I've been using for the entire um, setup and of course so I'm going back in and re 
writing everything with the black one just so that everything's looking a little bit more clear um, so you'll notice I've got seven days of the week there and again I like to start on Mondays that's my personal preference I am a stay-at-home mom and I run my own business from home so for me it's easier to start on Mondays because that's kind of like when life you know quote-unquote starts for us with kids in school and stuff like that and let me explain to you guys really quick how this is entire spread is going to work so I'm going to split this up into columns so the first page which is the left hand side page is going to have a column for events that way I can see things and they pop out to me and I don't miss anything so things like parent teacher conferences which are going to be this week um, you know school events things like that they'll be there and then I'll have my water and my step intakes and then on my right hand side will be my major to-do list which will be of course split into personal and business so anyway this is my entire spread i'm really really happy with how it came out and i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you guys picked up some tips or some tricks if you end up recreating any of these spreads i would love to see it please tag me on instagram and i will show you guys lots and lots of love i'm really really excited to see how this new setup will work for me i'm doing a lot of new trackers and all new types of trackers and i'm tracking a lot of new stuff so i'm just really excited to see how it'll work for me this month um, so please let me know what you guys want to see in future videos and I will definitely get that done for you guys and start giving me some ideas in the comments below for what you guys want to see as far as themes for December and I'll get on that right away. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to also hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post a new video. And I will go ahead and link down all of my social media handles in the description box. And I would really appreciate it if you guys checked it out and followed me on there as well. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!